Oh, sweet! More Obscure October! Man, I love this month because all those are some of my favorite Mega Man characters. Today, we're looking at a lizard flower abomination thing. This is The Basics on Warafu. So I'm going to tackle this character as more of a summary of the manga he's from, because the whole thing revolves around him. And a basics on him would be like, a paragraph. Like seriously, that, that's all there is on the wiki. Chudzilla here deserves a little bit more credit. So I'm just going to hop in this book now. You can come too if you want. Here we go! The story itself takes place in the six months between X1 and X2, with X having been promoted to the captain of the 17th unit. And I do mean, like, just happened. The story starts with his celebration, where he's accompanied by this... thing. Oh, Inker's there too, apparently. But while X is enjoying himself and dealing with not Terra being a bit trigger-happy, we have our subject of the video going through... some not-so-fun experiments. In this sad, sorry lab on a cliff, a storm is rolling in. How cliché. Like, whatever. This is the 90s. We'll let it slide. Professor Cyber Gargamel is busy working and monologuing to this lizard-looking thing. He claims that he made it from a serpent, and then that he's made various bioroids, biological androids, from animals, but they were all failures. However, now he has reached a success. By applying his bioroid parts to a plant, he has achieved his goal. Well, good for him. Unfortunately, Mother Nature has had enough of him playing with her creations, and unleashes righteous fury striking down his lab with lightning, and causing his plant bioroid machine to fall on him. Ah, oh, my deltoids! Meanwhile, his lizard dog is broken free and fuses with the plant-based bioroid that looks to be in pure agony, becoming the flower lizard Orafu. He then slays his crater and runs off enraged at the world. In the city, he's causing chaos, as one does when they go shopping on a busy Saturday, forcing the hunters to sortie. While they get off their butts, Warafu steps into a flower garden where a little girl is tending. She scolds him for stepping on the flowers, to which he responds, I'll kill you! Unfazed though, this girl moves closer to him, calling what she thinks is a bluff, not really being aware that this guy just straight up went mini Godzilla on the town. She notices he has an injured foot. Once more, Warafu threatens her. And the girl's like, nah, let me help you first. We friends. Oh, oh yeah, her, her name is Mika, by the way. As you can see, Warfu is taken back by this. Nani? And is experiencing compassion for the first time. Sweet, isn't it? After you forget he's already a mass eraser. So while Warfu has this moment of clarity, it's all quickly undone. As not Jupiter shoots him, injures the girl, like a maverick would, and gets baptized with acid as Warfu barfs up a stream of fluid that consumes this hunter. <laughs> oh, my titanium! Turns out this stuff actually turns, whatever it hits I guess, into plants. <laughs> Gross. So X and Ogma, the not Terra Reploid, chase after Warfu, who is trying to get Mika help. But, you know, he's a big scary monster. So they gotta assume he took a hostage. X confronts him, but our boy pleads for Mika's safety. X, being logical and, you know, a good person, is taking more of a kind approach now. Lowering the edge of his weapon for the safety of the girl, like a hunter should do. Should do is not what happens. As Ogma jumps in, Buster ready. And blast he does. From above, he's raining down bullets, claiming he won't hit the kid, but it doesn't really seem that way. He's too focused on getting a promotion. Unfortunate for him. Warfu is having none of it, and using his vine claw things on his shoulders holds Ogma in place, plantonizing him, and comes in with a fatal falcon punch. Yes! After this exchange, X tries to reason with Warfu, as to bring him in peacefully because he's not a bad person. Warfu then has a menti B. He's upset that he's a monster and remembers being happy when he was just a snake that looked like it came right out of Mario 2, unable to revert to what he was. He rushes X, and the two have a short exchange of fire, as Warfu yells about being called a monster, and that humans are the real monsters. While X is trying to convince him to take a second chance, and that humans should have the chance to do right by science. In this final exchange though, 
Old lizard boy takes a charge one to the gut. Man, even though he did some bad things, just look at that face. You can't help but feel bad for the guy. In his final moment, he admires the sky, smiles at Mika, and keeps her away as his self-destruct is beginning to activate. As he explodes in peace, parts ring down all over. Mika, who apparently is no longer bleeding, takes note that they are seeds, and as such, the two believe that Warfu lives on, as a flower bed in a ghost town. Aww. Somewhat happy ending, but not really because a lot of people in Reploids died. So like, that's the gist of Warifu. A tragic lab experiment of a bioroid plant and a genetically altered serpent who went mad, could turn others into plants, and befriends a girl who opens his heart. While the name is Warifu, you might notice the fan translations have Warlufu in them. Well, the translator did this to make a backwards pun of his name. Kinda wish we could see all more of what this guy could do rather than just, you know, extendo arms and plant beam breath. What do you think about not quite wheel gator warafu? Let me know below! Tune in next week as we take a look at one of the biggest, most unheard of edgelords in the franchise. Till then, rock on!